In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a blog post to your WordPress website. And there's two primary ways to add content to your website. One is through a post and the other is through a page. Now the biggest difference is that when you add a post, all of your posts will fit or uh, appear on the same page with the most recent post appearing at the top. With a page, each page is independent of each other. So you can have um, you know, multiple pages. Your website is equipped to have unlimited posts and unlimited pages. You just need to decide if you want the content to be um, on, all on the same page, again, with the most recent content appearing at the top, or if you want your content to be completely independent of all other content. So with this, we're gonna do a post and again, uh, your posts will appear in chronological order with the most recent one at the top. When you log into your WordPress site, you're gonna see this uh, dashboard. And on the left-hand side, you've got a list of menu items. Just hover over the word posts. This uh, drop-down menu will appear, and you just click on Add New. And then it's very similar to writing a Word document. Uh, now, the difference being, uh, sometimes your spacing and things will not work as easily and as smoothly as they would in a Word document. So whenever you write a post, you always want to make sure that you go back and check and see how it looks actually on the live site to make sure that the spacing is uh, what you want. So at, when you're at this page, first thing you want to do is um, give your post a title. So let's just call this uh, sample blog post. And then down here in the text area, you just type uh, whatever you'd like to say. Now you can do things like, um, you can use bold, just like you would in a Word document by highlighting the words and then clicking the bold tab. You can use italics the same way. You can do a bulleted uh, list. Uh, you can do quotes, you can justify it in the center, justify it on the left, justify it on the right. You can even change the color of your font. So it's really a lot like a Word document. So you just type in whatever you'd like to type. And then down at the bottom, you have some options. In fact, if you click up here in the top right, you'll see it says screen options. If you click there, it'll show all of the different um, options. Now, what I like to do when I'm first setting up a blog is uh, I like to click most of these, and then you can um, choose with each post which options you want to have. So, for instance, if we scroll down here, you'll see under discussion whether or not you want to allow comments. Um, if you want to allow comments, leave the box checked. If you don't, just uncheck it. If you've got uh, numerous people, so let's say you and your business partner or someone else is set up as a user on your website and so you've got different um, users or different potential authors, uh, those will all appear here and you can select when you write your blog post, you can select which author you'd like to use. Okay, those are all set up in the users section of the site. So once you get done uh, posting here, you can have categories set up. So you'll see on the side here, we've set up a number of different categories for this blog. You just simply select a category um, and that's optional. You don't have to do that, but I would highly recommend that you set up a category for each uh, blog post. Uh, it just makes it easier sometimes for people to find and easier for you to index that material. And if you want to include an image, best way to do it is to go down to this Featured Image section, uh, click on Featured Image. Now if you've already uploaded some images to your website, they're going to appear here. If you haven't, uh, what you do is uh, first you'll have to download the image that you want onto your computer, and then you just click Upload Files, select a file. You can also drag and drop the file into this area but I'm just gonna to go to a spot where we've got some, uh, where I've got some images on my computer. Here's one of some dollar signs. So let's see how that one looks. So we've got these dollar signs here. I can set that now as a featured image and you'll see it populates right there, okay? So after you've written your blog post and you have given it a category and you have uploaded an image, if you want an image, 
then uh, there's two ways to get this to go live. But what I would suggest is first hit save draft. Once it's saved, now you can preview and see how it looks. So this is how your blog post would appear. Um, let's go back to edit. Now let's say you want the image to be in the post itself. So you want to have some text and then you want to have an image and then you want to have some more text. That's as simple as placing your cursor wherever you want that image to go. So let's say we want it to go at the very beginning. I'm going to put my cursor there. I'm going to go up to the top here and click add media. I'm going to go ahead and use this same dollar sign. Insert that into the post. You'll see down here at the bottom, you'll have the ability to pick the size that you want that image to be. And if you want it on the left, the center, or the right, I'm going to put this on the left. And then insert into post. And you'll see it appears right there. So now when we save the draft, and then preview it, you'll see that we have our image here. So if this was a longer article, you would have all of your text here, and then down below, you would have um, all of your sharing tabs and uh, your social media tabs, and that's about it. It's, it's a fairly simple process. That's one of the benefits of working with WordPress is it's really, really simple to add a blog post to your website. Uh, now, once you have uh, saved the draft and previewed it and it looks the way you want it to look, then you just go back to this page and click on Publish. And once you click Publish, it is live. You can still go back if you need to make corrections. So uh, now uh, this blog post would be live. If we go to the blog, it should appear at the top. As you see, it does. Here's um, previous blog posts. And um, you can still go back if you need to after you've uh, made it live and make corrections, change the image, or even delete it completely if you need to in the future. So the nice thing about working with WordPress, it's really easy to, to change or alter or make updates, and it's really easy to post new content. So that's it on how to post a new blog post on your WordPress website.